Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering why the history of note-taking creates risk for ourselves, our team members, and in fact, our organization. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping man people manage uh, knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. So I made quite an interesting statement here, and I'm suggesting that the history of note-taking creates a risk for ourselves and the people we're working with. It's probably something you've never really thought about, and it was something I'd never really thought about until actually quite recently. So I took a bit of a sabbatical this year, and I started to explore in greater detail about my area of speciality. And it's around next generation note-taking, so a logical step was, something I never thought of, was to look at the history of note-taking. And to actually get pictures of examples through the ages. And it's when I, only when I laid these pictures out, so a picture of note-taking from Roman times, from 1500s to the 21st century, and I, then I had pictures of people at school or at university, um, school I think in the Roman times, it was school in the, uh, the 1500s, universities in the 21st century. And I looked across this and I thought, oh my goodness. Note-taking is a 2,000-year-old technique which in 1,500 years didn't change at all and in the 21st century hasn't changed at all. It hasn't changed for 2,000 years. And the situation where we actually learn this technique has remained the same. It's when a teacher or someone in authority said something, we would take notes. Roman times, 1,500s. Um, 21st century. I suddenly thought, actually, there's a huge psycho sort of psychology element to the act of note-taking. So one, we're trained from a very, very early age that we do this thing called note-taking when we're spoken to by a person in authority or a person with knowledge. And we're in that situation for maybe 10, 15 years. So we carry that thinking into the workplace at a very subtle level. So when people get more senior, who does the note-taking? It's the juniors or it's the graduate. The other issue with uh, note-taking is that whole mindset is basically it's a recording technique. You know, teacher or person in authority says something, you record it to learn later on. But the but now the world is changing really fast. So, you know, when we're at school or in university or in the workplace, we'd, why wait until later on? Why can't we understand it now, real time? And what's restricting us is that historical technique called note-taking that we were all taught. So I, uh, gosh, about 20, 25 years ago now, I started to think, okay, what are the better ways of managing knowledge other than recording it verbatim? And actually, you know, laptops came out, no different. If you actually look what someone's doing, they're recording something verbatim or part verbatim. They're still using that 2000 year old technique. The only difference is it's now been locked into technology. And in fact, they've got no choice. As soon as they start hitting the keys, they have to use this technique. So in a way, laptops are even worse. So I started to develop a new technique. I call it new generation note-taking. And it's a new technique. The purpose is to convert information into knowledge, real time, that you can use real time. And knowledge is a detailed understanding of information. So the second I can do that, suddenly I'm in a position of power because I'm literally able to uh, manage an hour's worth of knowledge really easily and understand it at a high level, probably higher than anybody else around me. And the other key feature is to be able to use it real time. So for me, it was key to have it in a structure that I could use it real time. And I'm now gonna share with you what next generation note-taking looks like so you can actually start to develop it and evolve it yourself. Here we go. So here we have some knowledge, uh, well, information at this point. We'd like to find 
one good technique to help increase the understanding and help improve self-esteem. So the first part of next generation note taking is deep filtering. So to knock out all the unnecessary information we use to glue word, keywords, key information together. So here I would probably keep find one good technique, increase uh, understanding and to help, I don't need any of that, improve self-esteem. The next part, if you want to make that shift to next generation note taking, is what I call a deep analysis or deep processing. So you break everything up and then reconnect it. And here goes. So I'd go find one good technique. I breathe everything, it just uh, abbreviates everything, it just makes it faster. Uh, uh, technique, increase, and I'll do this at speaking speed as someone's speaking to me. Increase, understanding, and improve self-esteem. Okay. So the first thing is, by breaking all your knowledge up in single units and reconnecting it, that increases my concentration and my listening, and I can maintain that for an hour to a really high level. The next thing, it increases my understanding. Now, the more I understand, if I'm in education, the more interested I am, the more involved I am, and the easier it is to remember and revise for exams. If I'm in business, it's a game changer because it means that real time, I'm understanding at a higher level, I'm spotting more questions, I'm spotting more links, I'm be able to generate and spot more ideas, so the quality of decisions and actions are at a higher level. So I'm no longer restricted by the historical implications of this thing called note taking, which is purely a recording technique. The amazing thing is the extent to which this literally drives up understanding. So some cognitive neuroscientists tested this and they found that people's real time understanding in a complex meeting or presentation, 64%. So Previous generation note taking puts a ceiling on our average understanding at 64%. By switching to next generation note taking, like the, as I say, the filtering, the, uh, the processing, your and my real time understanding goes up 12% to 76. And then after a year, it goes up a massive 20% to 84%. Now, when I use uh, next generation note taking, it makes such a difference. But the cool thing is, if you're dyslexic, like I am, there's even better news. Real time understanding goes up to 87%. So the reality of that is that for those people who are dyslexic, like myself, I can go into a complex meeting or presentation and I know that my real time understanding, non dyslexics would be average 64%, mine, 87% completely turns the tables. So what I would say is if you've, uh, if, if you're a listener, then I really encourage you to think about taking that knowledge externally, because that will really empower you. So you're not restricted by short term memory and other restrictive features of the brain. If you're a traditional note taker using previous generation note taking, I would thoroughly encourage you to think more about filtering and processing the knowledge at a deeper level to increase your real time understanding. And if you're a laptop user, again, I'd thoroughly encourage you to think about next generation note taking. And of course, you can use a digital pen on your laptop if it is, you know, has a digital feature as a writing tablet. Superb. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please do feel free to uh, like the video. And of course, you know, always feel free to comment and share it with other people, particularly people who are frustrated by their current note taking techniques or don't take note taking because they don't like it or anyone who wants to improve their performance, either when learning or in the workplace. Um, and that's it, really. I want to thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. And of course, on either side, at the top or down at the bottom, you'll find a link where I've put together some free value add tips for you. Um, just click the link and download. Thank you very much indeed.